So the sad thing about YouTube and Traders Online is that most people talk about habits that everyone talks about and they're all the same. But today I want to share with you some habits that people don't talk about and that can make a big difference in your life and career as a trader. What's up, traders? Welcome back to Bangkok in Thailand. Today as I said, I want to share with you some habits that you can do on a daily basis that can help you reach your goals of trading full time faster and eventually creating a better lifestyle, being able to travel the world after the virus is done, being able to spend time with your family. And these habits are not things that everyone talks about. They're pretty uncommon and unknown, but they've made a big difference in my life and in my trading. So I want to share them with you anyway, not because it's going to be popular necessarily, but because people that apply these habits will get results and I know it for a fact. The first habit, I talk about this all the time, is connecting with other traders. Because you can learn a lot with one conversation than by watching 20 videos or reading 50 books or listening to 50 podcasts. A conversation with a trader is much better than anything you can find out there. And most people don't do that. People prefer to be on their own bubble and kind of learning on their own while they could be learning a lot more if they had connections, the people they can ask questions to. I've done a video a few weeks back about the power of mentoring. So I will leave the video link in the description below if you want to get out after this video. And that makes a big difference. So being able to connect with other traders, being able to be mentored by other traders, and being able to create a social circle around you where you can ask questions will make a big difference in your trading career and in how much result you get. The second habit is getting as many fresh starts as you can. And this is a broad term, but what I mean by fresh starts is like a new beginning in the sense that let's say you look at your chart every week and you delete all your indicators, all your zones, all the things you draw on your chart, everything, and you can start fresh. I find that this helped me a lot to be more clear and to make less mistakes. If I spend three, four, five, six weeks with the same zone, the same lines, the same thing as my chart, I tend to get confused. I, think, I tend to make more mistakes or I tend to, most importantly, not pay attention to things I should pay attention to. So being able to kind of erase everything, start fresh, makes a big difference for me in my trading. And that's only one way you can do it with the chart. The second way you can do that is you can take vacation, take breaks every few weeks or every month or even less than that, every two weeks and go outside, go somewhere, go take a vacation at the beach, go somewhere else, change your environment, change your scenery, go to a nice hotel even in your city. Like don't set your home all the time, go to a nice hotel, for a day or two then come back to your home, that will make a big difference on how you think, how you perceive things, and you'll make less mistakes if you are prepared enough and you take breaks and you start fresh all the time. Now obviously you don't want to overly do this, you want to be careful about not taking breaks every like day or so, because that would be stupid, you have some goals to achieve of course, but taking a break once in a while is always good. And refreshing your perspective is even more important. So I really hope you enjoyed this video so far. My hope with this channel is to be able to help as many traders as I can throughout these videos, throughout these interviews I do with traders on all topics, throughout these small videos I do that are, more, that are shorter on how you can kind of get breakthroughs and move forward in trading, and through the motivational videos we do for getting you pumped up and ready for the weekend trading. Now I want to make sure that this video reach a lot of people and that it actually reaches people that need to see these things, and need to come across these videos. And for that, I would love you to first of all like the video, click the like button below, and also subscribe if you've not been subscribed yet to the channel. That's going to allow you to get more notifications for videos. And also it's going to increase the view we get in videos so that other people can see them and learn from them and actually get results. There are things we talk about here on the channel that need to be heard and they need to be coming across the right people. And I really hope you can help me do this. Also you can click the bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of future videos. And obviously let me know if I can help in any way in the comment section. Now back to the video. Lastly, there's a last habit that makes a big difference that helped me a lot in the past and that I think can help you do the same. And that habit has to do with improving your money mindset. Now, money mindset is huge. If you don't make enough money right now compared to what you want to get, it's because your mindset about money is wrong. You gotta work on your mindset to be able to make more money. And most people don't know this. The issue is that the way you grow up, the way you learn, the way your parents were, affect a lot how you think about money these days. And if you don't change that for a lot of people, unless your parents were like rich and really successful, then that means that your results today are not as good as they could be. And you gotta work on your money mindset, which means you gotta believe that you should make more money, that you deserve more money, and you gotta believe that you can make money and you have the power to do so. And you, you gotta believe that you have value too. So working on that takes time. There's plenty of courses or, or mentors or coaches you can get on a topic. I've learned and I've been coached by different people over time to make that money mindset better. But that's something you should work on. And the first step you can take 
to improving your money mindset is not being afraid by spending money. Now, most people, they, they spend money on something, they want to be careful to save every penny. Like, oh, this is at like $1.50, this one costs $1.55, I'm gonna take the one at $1.50, even though it's like a five cent difference. And that's why people are so broke, because they always try to save money the most they can, because they are afraid they cannot make more money. And so as soon as you realize that money is infinite, and that you can always make more money if you wish, and you don't spend your time trying to save every penny, and you are willing to spend money on things that will produce more money later, then you change your mindset about money. And you allow yourself to not be tied in this slide that you need to save everything, that money is limited and that you cannot make as much money as you wish. You get out of this mindset of being capped to a maximum of money per year or per month or whatever. And the other thing you can do if you want, which is the next step to it, to detach yourself of the common misconception, the common thing people think about, like the commonalities of the world, is some people decided many years ago that people will have a five day week and a two day weekend. And that was the thing everyone should have. Now society these days follows this principle. They get a two day weekend for a five day work week. But no one says that's what you have to do. And if you wanna be have if you wanna be achieving big goals, you gotta descend yourself from that philosophy of five days a week to work, two days a week as a weekend. Now this might be tough if you have a job right now. Because of course you need to go to your job and that's fine. But if you can, distance yourself from that idea and change your mindset about how you should operate. Because if you can operate on a six, seven days a week schedule, where of course you have time to spend with your family, you can decide that time by yourself. But you have more time to work, more time to take action. And you don't feel down when it's Monday, you don't feel crappy when it's Sunday night, and you don't feel happy when it's Friday, then you can achieve bigger results. And that's also gonna change your money mindset over time. So this is something tougher than the other two points that has to be repeated all the time. But once you do it, the result will change and you'll be achieving bigger goals. So hope that makes sense. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Here are a few comments for the past video. I appreciate the comment as always. And if you want to be able to take your training to the next level, I've prepared below a training. It's a case study on how I've been able to do it myself and how people do the same to be able to live a life of freedom while trading on their own term and living in life on their own term. So that free training will be linked below. Check it out before it expires and I'll catch you back here in Bangkok for the next video pretty soon. Ciao.